didn't think I was gonna make another morning video, but we gotta do it for all the Leonards around the country. All the Leonards, Leonards, Lenny Kravitz, Lurie Nance. This ain't gonna be no morning bashing video, though. I promise to God, it ain't gonna be no morning bashing video. Matter of fact, I applaud her. You know how hard it is to stay mad at a motherfucker for 40 minutes? I applaud her for that. What I want y'all to do is be mad at a motherfucker for 10 minutes and tell me if your head don't hurt. She trying to all her high school bullies into Charlemagne and went after that nigga for 40 minutes. Bottom line, what I learned from the interview is never call somebody a name they can't take it. Call me a donkey. You did, bro. You called me a fucking donkey. And I want you to take it back. I'm gonna knock your shit. No, I didn't. I just said, well, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I, said, I said you was acting like a donkey, but I never anticipated calling you a donkey whatsoever. I said you was acting like a donkey. That's why I implied you was a donkey, but I never officially said you was a donkey. I didn't say it. Don't be trying to backtrack. You said it. You said it. That's okay. You know 12 Years of Slaves? You every slave in the movie. Do you know Roots? I don't know every slave in the movie Roots, but you every slave in the movie Roots. You know Easy E? You do? My nigga, you kill Easy. You the nigga that killed Ricky and Boys in the Hood. I know, but you cut soda back of your head. You the reason why Craig got fired. It wasn't him stealing boxes, motherfucker, it was you. You the reason why McDonald's keep giving us McRib and taking it away. Hell, you might even be the reason why I can't walk. You know shit's getting real when they call you by your government name. When I hear my name, Tracy Morgan, I think courtrooms are bill collectors. Are you Tracy Morgan? No. I'm... I'm Tupac. See? I ain't seen any look on uh, Monique's face that she gave Charlamagne since she played on Presses. Mm -hmm. The line is, Monique is a great actor. I'm not gonna take that away from her. Don't be nobody can take that away from her. She's a great actor. But if I'm selling Jordans for 250 don't try to lowball me and say I should sell it for more or I should give you less money. If you don't like the press, move the fuck on. Now that's kind of how I felt about this whole Netflix situation. That interview was so intense. It was like being at a family reunion and somebody just dropped something you didn't need to know. That's why your uncle sucks some dick. He, he really did that? He really did that? I swear to God, dog. He owed me some ice cream. I took it. I took it. I was like, I'm about to say it. The same spoon and everything. I didn't get a separate spoon. Please tell me this is not true. I'm not going to sit up here and say how much Monique deserves and how much she doesn't deserve. All I got to say to anybody out there is know your worth. Well, your first project, you always going to get a little ball. But if you do your second project for cheap, then expect that in the future. So know your worth so others will know your worth too. This, this is my favorite scene, and this is what I thought she was going to say to Charlotte, baby. I was just thinking about this scene the whole entire interview. The whole entire interview. I was just waiting for the laughs. Roll the clip. Who, 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 who else was going to love me? Hmm? Since you got your degree, and you know every fucking thing, who was going to love me? Who, who was going to make me feel good? So, when you sit there and you write them fucking notes on your pad, about who you think I am and why I did it and all of that. Because I didn't have nobody. And you're sitting up there and you're trying to judge me. I'm not you... judging you, but you're asking me for money? I don't like you looking at me like that. You got this bitch looking at me like I'm some kind of fucking monster. We... Well, Monique, did you try to do a counter offer? And what did the CEO of Netflix tell you? And he told me to shut to shut my fat ass up. And what did you do then? I shut my fat ass up. Oh yeah, Monique, if you see this, I think you should get more money, but I, I can't boycott Netflix. I can't do it. I can't do it. They about to drop new episodes in March, you know what I'm saying? That just like a Joel shit about to come out. And then they got that love series about to come out. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do that for you. I can't do that for you, my love. Can't do it. You should actually do that to your daddy. Then you get... No, no, what? Never mind. Never mind. I'm out.